This video is to show you how to create a new purchase order inside Lightspeed. First thing you do is go to Inventory, click on Purchase Orders. This page normally will show you a list of all your previous purchase orders. Um, if you have any open purchase orders, you need to close them or archive them because they will interfere with any new purchase orders. Uh, basically, if there's an open order in here and you try to create a new one, it's not going to order anything that's already on the open purchase order. So they all need to be closed out when you receive them. Uh, we're going to go over receiving the order in the next video. But uh, to create a new one, go over here on the right, click New Purchase Order. Select your vendor as Pepper Palace Warehouse. Set your order date. Uh, any special notes you need sent to the office, just type them in right here or here. Uh, once you click Save Changes, it's going to open to this. All you have to do, make sure this drop down list is just set on all categories, which it is by default. Click the auto add all button. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Click OK. Give it a few minutes to generate the order. It is ordering all the items that are below your reorder point to get you back to the desired inventory level. We set min max levels for each store. Uh, if you are if your desired level is to have 36 of an item, then once you reach 35, sell one, it's automatically added to this list. It will order only enough to get you back to your desired level. Uh, you can go down through this list. Over here is the quantity that it's ordering for each item. These can be adjusted. If you have a special customer request or a show you need you know you're going to need something extra you can add however many you need to uh, go through and double check on items just to make sure that uh, everything is the way it's supposed to be that way you don't uh, you don't receive a bunch of stuff you don't need or don't receive something you do it's a good idea to go through this and double check everything uh, most purchase orders are going to be multiple pages. You can only see up to 100 items per page. So this one's got technically three pages. So you click the arrow. This will take you to your second page, on and on. Uh, if you want to change how many you see per page, you can set this to any number between 1 and 100. Once you have gone through and all your items are ready, go here to the add items and in this box type in supplies that will take you to this page which shows all the supplies we have available for order bags paper towels uh, everything we order as supplies all you have to do put a check mark in anything you need to order go Brian. to the bottom and click add selected once you have done that, those items will now show up on your order. Let me get back to page one here. These are the supplies I just added in. You can, you can spot them pretty easy. There's a zero for the retail price because we don't sell them. Uh, you just need to adjust your quantities here, however many you need. Uh, once that's all done, come up here and click on email. You'll see office at pepperpalace.com. That is the default email that the order goes to. You need to add a comma in your email so that when Ruth replies to the email for the order confirmation or any special instructions she needs to send you, it will come to you as well. Once you've got your email in there, click email order. You'll get a verification here, order emailed. You can go back here. Once you go back to the purchase order sheet, you'll see this shows ordered. Uh, we're going to go through receiving your order on the next video. So uh, we'll see you then.